a 10 hour day is a short day for me. I hear more people promoting this four hour idea, okay? It is complete bunk, it is complete bullshit. You cannot outsource everything. This idea that you're gonna be a solopreneur, outsource or work four hours or part time, you guys try to do the part time thing, you will have full time problems forever to the end of your life. Not only will you have problems, because you're selfish if you're trying to do a four hour work week. You're selfish, you're thinking only about yourself. If you don't scale and hire people, you're also selfish. You're trying to manage money rather than saying, hey, I have a great message. Like, you, you have an obligation, man, to get out there and help people. So I don't know how to do 10 hours. I know I need six to seven, maybe eight hours of sleep a day. See, a lot of people say, look, look, man, Steve Jobs started his business in a garage. The, uh, I think Cadillac's got a commercial where the Cadillac was created in a garage. Bill Gates started his business in a garage. Uh, Mark Zuckerberg started Facebook in a, in a dorm. Everybody's like, oh my God, man, I can do this from home. None of those companies got big when they stayed in the garage of the dorm. Marky Z didn't make it until he moved to Silicon Valley and built a team, okay? Google didn't become Google until they had a campus in Silicon Valley and they scaled to tens of thousands of employees. So you have to scale to be great. You should not be thinking about what you can live on. I made eight grand this month, man. All of it's net profit. All that money should be reinvested in people. So that, that's why people think incorrectly. That's why I always go back to this argument about, look, the solopreneurs are selfish, almost like a little selfish child. I'm gonna go out, I left my job, I was making 90 grand, now I'm gonna work for myself and make 90 grand. Dude, nobody's better off working for 90 grand. You can't live on 90 grand anywhere in the America. There's nowhere in America. You live for 90 grand in, in Miami, you're, you're gonna have $12,000 before taxes left over at the end of the year if you don't shop at Whole Foods. The point of that is, if you were working for 90,000 for a company and then you go work for yourself for 90,000, you should be taking that money and buying a secretary, buying a receptionist, buying scale, buying a sales team, reinvesting money. You should not have any money left over at 90 grand. All of it should be going to be poured back into the business to scale out unless all you're thinking about is yourself. Right. Dude, look for an individual to work with. Do not look at an industry. Don't worry about taking a job. Jobs are good, man, okay? 60% uh, of all billionaires work for somebody else to get where they are. They, they didn't work for themselves. You do not need to do this. Find a vehicle to ride in. You don't have to be the driver. Find a vehicle where somebody, where the owner wants to accelerate, has the fuel, they wanna go someplace, they got a vision. That's what you wanna do.